Tonight we have the scary story of a South Mississippi woman trapped in the world of sex and psychological manipulation. Lauren Martinez reports on how this woman survived and what she's doing today to help other human trafficking victims rebuild their lives. Sharon Robbins was just a teen, an 18 year old recruited to be a sex worker. She remembers the harrowing day well when she was approached while waitressing at a local beach restaurant on Highway 90. There was a gentleman that came in and sat at the breakfast bar every morning. He befriended me for weeks and then months and then asked the question. So befriending a young man or a young lady, um, that's how the grooming process starts as they come your best buddy. While the vicious cycle of abuse, neglect and humiliation hammered her mental health, Robbins felt an emotional numbness. I didn't understand how I got here. And I cried myself to sleep a lot of times because sometimes doing that hurt physically, not just mentally or emotionally. It just became a piece of meat. My job was to please him till his time was up and then go dance and then go home. Like so many others coerced through psychological manipulation by handlers, Robin was once convinced there was no means of escape. I didn't know that there was a way out of what had happened to me. I didn't understand who to blame then. Now, as I've grown more mature and had my own children, I get it. And this was part of my journey. Today, Sharon Robbins is 61 years old. When asked what advice she would give her younger self during that time 40 years ago, she stressed the importance of having a mother figure. Keep running till you run into that brick wall called mama, the right mama, because that's what I did. I ran right smack into my mama Faye. I'll never forget her. She changed my world. Now serving as the founder and executive director of Jubilee Havens, Robbins wants survivors to know they matter. Because of the way they have dealt with their trauma and they're not dead and they survived, they are a plus to society. Society just doesn't know it yet. If you know someone who can benefit from Sharon Robbins and Jubilee Haven's offer, we've posted contact information about the organization on WLOX.com. In Biloxi, Lauren Martinez, WLOX News Now.